Nova N1 UI are probably the two most talked launchers. For those who don't know, One UI is an upgraded project of Samsung's most famous TouchWiz. The video takes a look at both and covers Nova vs One UI. Nova comes with the Google search bar on the main home screen. The dock is enabled by default and a folder called Google containing a few Google apps is automatically created. Nova comes with three transition effects available in the settings. One UI also comes with the Google search row while you also get the weather widget which shows the time and weather. Moreover, you can add apps and create folders. Finally, the app comes with Samsung Daily, a feature similar to Google Feed. The dock is the second feature to talk about. Samsung One UI does not allow disabling and customizing the dock, while Nova does. You can also change the background style, add and remove dock pages, adjust the total number of icons on each page and more. Let's move to the app drawer. Both offer to switch between the button app drawer and swipe to open app drawer. Nova also offers to change the app drawer style to vertical and horizontal. On the top, there is the search row. It shows three tabs, frequently used apps, recently used apps, and new and updated apps tab. The Google Play icon is also available on the top right. With One UI, when you search for apps, it shows the search history and recently used and suggested apps. You can turn this feature off in the settings. It also comes with the microphone option to speak the app name. While you can also completely disable the app drawer and work only on the home screen. Moving on, if we talk about themes, then there is a lot of gray area. Because One UI comes with hundreds of themes to download. But in this round, we are talking about the light and dark themes. Both offer light and dark themes. Samsung One UI offers to schedule the dark theme, while Nova comes with schedule and auto features. The auto mode automatically turns dark mode on and off depending on the current time. Furthermore, it also offers to adjust the dark theme colors. You can choose between the light dark and extremely dark themes. Lastly, you can manually enable and disable the dark theme on search bar, in the app drawer, on icons, and in folders. Oh, one more thing, Samsung One UI does not offer the dark theme on all the Samsung devices. Okay, if we talk about gestures, there is no point. Nova only offers the home button gesture for free. You can add shortcuts, search for apps, open apps, and do more. One UI also does not come with any gestures except the navigation gestures. Regarding notifications, One UI wins because Nova Free does not offer notification options. One UI is packed with so many customization options, it allows turning on and off for each app, while you can also show or hide notifications in the status bar. It also comes with the Do Not Disturb feature if you don't want any notifications. Let's talk about the battery. This is one of the difficult rounds, but the general rule is more features means more battery. The programming behind a program also impacts. Anyway, what I believe is that if you have Nova free, then it is most likely to drain less battery than One UI. If you are thinking about Nova Prime, then the table may turn. I hope it makes sense. Anyway, the last section before we see which one is for you, let's cover some unique features which are not part of the major rounds. Nova supports backup and restore, CCM shortcuts, and you can change the icon style and shape in the app drawer and on the home screen. One UI on the other hand comes with an option to hide apps from the app drawer, while the Galaxy Store is packed with wallpapers, themes, always on displays, and more. So which one is for you? Well. Even though Nova comes with more features, I still feel that One UI gives a unique look to Samsung devices. Nova is great, and if you consider giving up on notifications, then you should definitely try and see how it goes. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope the video Nova vs One UI helped. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and like and subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you.